that, that website, Sussex Royal, apparently they've trademarked that, <laughs> that name. Are you going into the trades, are you? You're getting a job, are you? A real job, are you? You're renting out the name, are you? Sussex Royal. Because they want to make money. And the queen and her family, look, they're already amongst the richest people in the world. I mean, castles, huge property, servants. But these two little grifters want that Kardashian style. They want it to be about them, 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 them. They want to rent it out. They want to monetize. They had a PR firm write this weird memo on their private website about funding, trying to spin the fact that they're quitting the work part of being royals, but keeping the money part of being royal, keeping the money part, the funding, it goes on and on and on. They want to keep their multi-million dollar residence that just had millions in renos. It's called Frogmore Cottage. I love that part, cottage, like it's a little shed or something. Their Instagram post said that they've had many months of reflection and internal discussions, but the royal family says that's a lie. None of them were consulted. I think the royal Sussex, I think they were just talking to their C-list Hollywood friends who see a gravy train here. Harry brings the name and the wealth and the titles and the class and Megan will take care of the grifters and the graspers and the PR firms. You know, she came to Canada two weeks ago with Harry. Actually, they landed the day after Trudeau left for Costa Rica. He couldn't be bothered to stick around to greet them. Now, they flew back to the UK, but apparently Markle is back in Canada again. I guess things aren't going so well with the reflections and discussions with the Queen. I'm guessing the Queen and the rest of the royal family are using words like, well, the four-letter word. You know what I'm talking about. Duty. <laughs> Yikes. And responsibility and constitution. And... Not words like Instagram and self-actualization. I note that Markle left her baby with the nanny as she jetted around back and forth. Of course she did. The royal family isn't the most important thing to her. Neither is her own family. She is the most important thing to her. It's pretty gross and it's pretty sad what she's made of Harry. You know what I liked about Harry? He served. He served in the, army, in the army dangerously in Afghanistan on the ground for years in real danger, real work, real service. He once said it was the best thing he'd ever done, the most real thing. He got to meet other real people in the army. I get it. Living in the royal family must be like a fantasy or a bubble or maybe a gilded cage. In Afghanistan, he could be real and just a man in the army. And he started a charity and a competition, the Invictus Games, for wounded vets. Good for him. You know, that's, that's great. That's service, isn't it? That's duty. And something he actually knew a little bit about. How different from the vanity and narcissism his American wife is pulling him into. <laughs> and Canada, too. Here's the big scoop on them that ran in the Sun tabloid. I understand this huge report in the Sun... It's why Harry and Meghan made their huge announcement in an Instagram post. Because they panicked, because they hadn't set it all up yet. And it was still being planned, and the sun was about to reveal it. So they just blurted it out on Instagram. Sounds like they want to move to Canada so that they can say they're still in the Commonwealth, but they'll be close to Hollywood and Manhattan whenever they like. I think I actually know, you see this forest here um, that's on, on their page, on their website, uh, Sussex Royal? Uh, there's, there's some wider angle pictures of the forest. I know this sounds crazy, but I think I actually know the forest. I, I think it's a forest between Nanaimo and Alberni on, on Vancouver Island. I think I've been to that forest. I know that sounds absurd, but just to look at some trees. But I think I know where they are. The Sun says they rented a $14 million home over Christmas. I think that's in Tofino. I think they're in Tofino. They're doing what Trudeau does when he runs away from his duties. I wonder if it's in the exact same house or on the exact same beach where Trudeau goes. Now look, I'm a huge monarchist, despite Prince Charles, and despite Prince Andrew, the super gross friend of Jeffrey Epstein. But there's a lesson there. You know, after Epstein was killed, the BBC interviewed Prince Andrew about his role. Did he rape young girls like Epstein did? Here's how it looked on the BBC.
One of Epstein's accusers, Virginia Roberts, yeah. has made allegations against you. She was very specific about that night. Mm -hmm. She described dancing with you no. and you profusely sweating <laughs> and that she went on to have bath, there's a, there's possibly... A, there's a slight problem with, 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 with the sweating um, because uh, I, I have a peculiar medical condition, which is that I don't sweat um, or I didn't sweat at the time. And that was, oh, actually, yes, I didn't sweat at the time because I um, ha had suffered what I would describe as an overdose of adrenaline in the Falklands War when I was shot at. Uh, and I simply, it, it, was, it, was, it was almost impossible for me to, to, to sweat. Yeah, mate, I think you're a liar. Well, after that interview, the Queen fired him. I mean, the Queen is his mum. He is still who he is. But she essentially said, you're not representing our family or our country anymore. You're a disgrace. Now, she let him make the announcement to save whatever scraps of dignity he has left. But he's done. If that's how she handles her own son, I bet she'll be as tough with her grandson and his grasping American wife. I wouldn't be... Wouldn't that be just a thing? I mean, what do they want? What are they after? Free stuff, but obviously the title to rent out, to ring out, Sussex Royal. Well, that's exactly what the Queen should take away from them. Take away all the free stuff, all the money, all the, all the glitz and glamour and the, the perks, but take away the word Sussex. Just like King Edward became the Duke of Windsor, that's still a pretty nice title, isn't it? And that governor of the Bahamas thing. And Prince Harry is not the king. I think he's, what, fifth or sixth in line, so he'll never be king. He's not that high. I think Meghan and Harry need a new name. They need a low name, but one that won't sell in America. One that's a bit too quirky, a bit maybe even gross or weird sounding. One that'll make Americans say, huh? Like the Earl of Sandwich. <laughs> you ever heard of that? There's nothing wrong with sandwiches. I love sandwiches, you can see. I think most people do. There are, you know, the Sandwich Islands, that's what Hawaii used to be called. There's still a place called the South Sandwich Islands. This is a map. Do you see how far away they are? They're near the Falklands, near Antarctica, they're near the South Pole. I think that is perfect for these two grifters to be the governor of the South Sandwich Islands. Now, the trouble is, this guy is already the Earl of Sandwich. He's a real guy, John Montague. And he has plenty of heirs. Uh, so I'm not sure if he'd give up the title. It's his title by right. But if he's the Earl of Sandwich, I don't know, maybe Harry can be renamed the Duke of Donuts or something like that, I don't know. Megan can become the Duchess of Donuts, no problem. I think they might actually love it. They could open up a really, really classy donut and coffee shop in Tofino, in Beverly Hills, charge all their C-list friends $10 a coffee or something. Really live in the life. Just get them out of the senior ranks of the royal family, as Harry calls it. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.